when God did what he did yesterday, he reminded me that it was during the times of Zexus and Esther. The Bible is very clear. It was on the 14th and the 15th and the 16th of the month of Adar, which is the 12th month in the calendar of Israel. It was called Purim. Why was it called Purim? Those days were called Purim. It is because God overnight hey, turned the situation around. He changed the verdict. Haman had decided that as for the Israelites were going to be annihilated in the same days, 14, 15, and 16. And this was sealed by the king. And anything sealed by the king was irrevocable. It took Esther, who is the prototype of the body of Christ today, to enter into the chambers watching in a hidden place what in course all I'm asking is that my life and the life of my people be spent because there's a man in the palace who seems like all other men in the palace it is hitting on another foot he has decided to annihilate all the children of Israel. For the first time, O king, you did not know that also my life is at stake because I'm also an Israelite. And the king said, Who is that man? What change is verdict overnight? Is Komasakukula. And on the days where the Israelites, the children of God, were supposed to be normal on the face of 127 provinces. When the children of God who carry heaven into the chambers. Let no man decide about the generation. Except you who created the generation. So when God did what he did yesterday, it was very deeply personal. I'm walking in a journey where I have I don't know how many times I've found myself fasting without water, without food. La Something that does not come very naturally with me. Lang is tolang is the look like a pussy man's ying as we or go into Enga Veliz and Zagale again. And I knew that there is a verdict that's being changed in the realms of the spirit. When we came together last night and God visited us the way he did, he said to me, what to give me? Tell them, I've changed the verdict. What to tell them? What about the verdict is Momo that was set by men has been turned around by God Almighty when He signs down with the signature of His glory. No man can turn that around. Jesus. On this day, we are entering a place of celebration. What was supposed to be death for you has been turned 
destined to life. The verdict of failure has been turned into success. The verdict of backwardness has been turned into forward go. The verdict of sitting down has been turned into running. For those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hey! The verdict has been changed. No, cho. Whether you feel it or not, no man I know in my knower. A holy life. Ugoti a holy life. Jiggy is it. Hallelujah. Jesus. Unifaga chale mean. Oh, fitila hunna mutar. Aini loko isgalrat. Kinsa ki aini la ausera. Wada fika nevba. Ah, fitila ka wuta huru yo. Nothing kose kwenzega. Karumuti mukwenza hara. What check the calendar, my darling? Aru checka ka checka calendar. In my timing. Kana koyak. When the verdict is changed, and it is signed by me, no man can revoke it. I have come to declare that. God Himself has come through for you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bam ba. Tara. Chinti we see mo. Bam ba. Tara. Chinti we see mo. Bam ba. Tara. Chinti we see mo. Bam ba. Chinti we see mo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 